Great live. We appreciate it from Gulfport. And for more havoc in the delicate Gulf Coast environment, I'm joined now by Dr. Reese Halter. He is the president and founder of Global Forest Science and a conservation biologist at Cal Lutheran University. Reese, good morning. Good morning, Alex. Okay, let's get to exactly how the oil hurts the animals in the region. I mean, it is obvious when you look at the pictures, when you see the numbers that can be damaged, if not die, from this. But what exactly does it do? How does it affect them? Well, everybody uh, takes it on the chin. Uh, first of all, uh, the shrimp and the oysters and the blue crabs, they can't even get out of its way. They will suffocate. Uh, the dolphins have to come up uh, at least twice every minute to breathe, so they're in it. We have seen gray whales and sperm whales are there. There's billions of fish eggs, Alex, uh, that are uh, at jeopardy here. It's the worst time of year, really, because everything is migrating. We've got th tens of thousands of migratory South American birds coming down uh, into the marsh. And of course, let's not forget, uh, forget our beautiful alligators. Mm. So you're, you're just running the gamut here from all kinds of animals. How long does it take for uh, those people that are trying to help with the rescue efforts to, to clean an animal and get them back to health? How, how long can they survive also being coated in oil? Not that long, and and uh, you know the what, for seabirds, for instance, uh, what happens is they lose their insulation, they lose their waterproof, the oil uh, strips them of that, and it's awful. And you know the other thing that's a, a very big concern uh, when when I reported on this two days ago, this spill was approximately half the size of Vermont. Now it is the size of Vermont, and it's going to come when it comes ashore, the worst possible area to come ashore are the marshes because we do have bacteria that can uh, slowly but surely eat the oil. The, uh, the caveat is it needs oxygen. And in marshes, as, as you and the viewers know, there's not a lot of oxygen. So the grasses die and then that opens the shoreline up uh, to erosion. And guess what? Uh, next month is the start of uh, the hurricane season. Ugh. Okay, Dr. So Reese Halter. Bad. Yeah, it, it is definitely bad. And you're telling us just the tip of the iceberg for the animals and like, let alone just exponentially the financial problem, the fishing industry, all of that. I mean, it's like this one two punch for the Gulf Coast from Hurricane Katrina to now. Just now they're recovering. Yeah. They get whapped with this. Um, okay, yeah. Reese Halter, thank you. Good to see you. They're thank taking you from the their Golden message. State. Appreciate that. They're, uh,